All right, guys, got a question about how do I maintain strength during the season? Well, you got to lift weights. You got to lift weights. That's that's the number one thing you got to do. A lot of you guys, you guys want to uh, you want to lift in the off season. Some of you, some of you don't even lift in the off season, but. You lift in the off season and then you just kind of hang it up during season, you know, and you come up with whatever excuse, you know, well, I don't have time or whatever. But you got time to brush your teeth in the morning, man. You got time to do some strength training too. And we're talking, you can get away with one, two times a week. I mean, most, most people, I mean, you just don't need to get in there and train five, six days a week during the season. You don't need to, you know, this isn't, this isn't a, a football or something like that where it's a lot of practice time. You guys are playing three games a week. So what you want to do uh, during the season is try to pick some, some bigger lifts, all right? Okay, raise the sets and lower the rep range. You know, the more reps you're going to do, the more, you know, muscle damage you're going to do, tearing down the muscle. And we're not looking to tear down the muscle so much during the season. Uh, we're not trying to, you know, become larger. We're trying to maintain our strength and explosiveness and our power. So you're going to have to, you know, what I, I would highly recommend all of you guys need a box squat. You know, if you don't know how to box squat, you need to look it up. You know, look up, you know, West Side Barbell uh, box squat. You know, find that on, you know, YouTube or read about it or whatever, you know. Um, the box squat is going to be the king uh, of lifts for you. Um, learn how to do that. You know, then you're going to need, you know, I, I would say in season, I wouldn't get up more than 75%. You know, and you're going to get in that 8 to 12 set range. You know, two reps is, is probably where you're going to want to stay. Um, don't get over 12 reps during the season. You know, we're not trying to, again, we're not trying to fatigue ourselves. We're trying to kind of activate ourselves, you know, so we'll be able to perform better. Um, the box squat, you know, I would do 8 to 12 sets of two reps around 75%. And so that's 75% of your one rep max. So if you don't know what your one rep max is, you know, you're, you're going to have to just basically guess at this point. I wouldn't recommend doing a lot of maxing out during the season because it just takes a big toll on your nervous system and you're just going to be, you know, pretty much fatigued the next day, maybe even two days after that, depending on if you really do max out. But so get into the box squat and then I would slide over and do the deadlift. Now I would highly recommend you guys do a trap bar deadlift. Uh, before doing a uh, conventional deadlift or a sumo deadlift. If you don't have access to a trap bar, then I would I would highly recommend you guys do a sumo pull. I think it's a lot safer um, for, for young people who, who don't really have great form um, and, and don't get a chance to really you know have somebody you know work with them and, and practice the technique. So sumo, try that. Look that up, man. I mean, you guys get on YouTube. You guys are all on YouTube. Um, look that up, man. West Side Barbell, you know, sumo deadlift, you know, uh, Dan Green is a good guy to watch, learn how to sumo deadlift, but you guys can just Google that, um, and learn how to do that. So I would do, uh, box squats, then I would slide over to a trap bar deadlift. If not, do a sumo pull, um, five sets, two reps, you know, maybe you guys want to do 10 sets of one rep. I don't want to, I don't want you to get over you know, 10 repetitions of a deadlift. And I would stay in that 75% range, okay, during the season. All right, um, that's pretty much it. Now, if you've got some sort of major weakness and it's you want to work on with your hamstrings or your low back or something like that, that's fine. But stay away from a lot of the isolation exercises. Those are the things that are going to make you sore. And you're already going to be sore from all your activity that you're doing on the field. You know, whether that's games or practices or whatever. So we want to take those big movements and those compound movements that are using a lot of body parts, man. And we want to, you know, that's how we want to maintain our strength. So once we start getting to isolation exercises, you know, doing, you know, stupid stuff like leg extensions and, you know, that that's just going to make you sore. So, but if you do have a weakness, you know, you can, you can kind of address that during the season as well. Um, but don't, don't get crazy and do a ton of work. You know, you don't want a lot of volume cause that's, what's going to make you sore. So, um, that's what I would do for, for lower body and then upper body. I wouldn't get much into a straight up bench press. I would do all floor presses. You can do a floor press with a bar, a dumbbell, um, you know, whatever you want to do between the two. And there's a lot of different very, you know, variations in bars and things like that that you can do with a neutral grip. That's a lot safer on the shoulder. 
Um, but I would get into a floor press, you know, eight, nine sets, you know, at three repetitions. Again, about 75% of your max is where you want to stay. Um, you know, if you want to do something a little bit different and you want to have a little volume, maybe try, you know, six sets of six reps and maybe drop the, the intensity down a little bit, you know, in that 50, 60% range. But again, the more, the more you start getting in that six plus reps range, you're going to start to tear down some muscle tissue and that's what's going to make you sore the next day. All right. So stay in that one, two, three rep range. Is, is really what's going to be the best thing, you know, for generating and building power and especially maintaining your power. Okay. So floor press, uh, you know, nine sets of three and I would slide over. You need to do some sort of row uh, for, for your back. All right. I don't really care if it's bent over rows, one arm rows, if you've got row machines, I wouldn't get much into the pulling down, you know, chin ups, you know, pull ups, you know, lat pull downs on a machine. I wouldn't get too much in that because that, that is kind of an impingement on your shoulder. All right, so so get more into the rowing. All right, when I'm talking about pulling this way, um, you know, and you can go uh, if you want to get a little bit more into the bodybuilding type rep range. That's fine. I would say you know four or five sets of you know six to eight reps. Um, but don't we're not trying to go to failure here. I mean, we're we're definitely trying to stop you know a couple of reps short of failure. You know, we're we're not looking to uh, really you know try to tear down the muscle and try to build it up here during the season. Again, we're trying to maintain strength. So we got to understand our goal. All right. So after that, um, I would do some triceps, you know, uh, a JM press would be good. Look that up. If you guys don't understand what a JM press is, um, you know, you could do tricep roll-ups like this, you know, laying on a bench, look that up. Um, you know, uh, extensions, tricep extensions with a cable like this. Um, you know, the pushing down is, is really, you know, it's, it's more of a bodybuilding type movement. It's not really a performance type exercise. We're trying to get stronger here, you know, that, that extensor area, you know, for your tricep. That's, that's what we're trying to get. That's what's going to help you, you know, in a lot of different ways in baseball. Okay. Um, really, you know, not, not, not a lot to do with the shoulders outside of, you know, your traditional light dumbbells and bands and things like that. You guys, I'm not going to get into that today. Um, you know, not a lot of stuff to do with the biceps, you know, because we're already going to be doing that when we, um, do our, do our back exercise, when we're doing our rows, we're automatically going to be working our biceps as well. Um, now as far as the core, you know, you guys are doing so much swinging, you know, if you're right handed, you're just constantly doing this. I wouldn't do a lot of twisting exercises during the season because you're already putting a lot of wear and tear on your back. Um, and your abs are already getting worked that way. So what I would recommend if you are want to do some twisting exercises, do it, hold a medicine ball and do it the opposite way. Do it the opposite way. Don't do it the way you swing, do it the opposite way. All right. So, uh, other ab exercises, man, there's a ton of them, man. You could do, uh, you know, hanging leg raises, you know, leg, leg raises, uh, ab wheel. You could do weighted crunches. You know, you could do sit ups. I mean, whatever you want to do. Um, did I say planks? You could do planks. So just don't do a lot of twisting exercises unless you're going to do it the opposite way of the way that you swing. Um, forearm stuff, you know, if you guys want to get into some forearm stuff, I think it's great, man. Just, you know, you, you're going to build up a tolerance from that anyway. So you could really, you know, the grippers are great. Um, you could do, you know, the wrist rolls, <coughs> things like that. So, um, I think that's about it, man. That, that's where I would stay. And you guys, you know, find two days a week that you can do those things. You know, Sunday night, Friday night after the game. You know, you don't have to go, you know, to your buddy's house after the game and, and hang out. You can go right to the gym after your game and, and knock that stuff out. These workouts should take 30, 40, 45 minutes, man. Don't, don't get in there forever, man. Work quick through your sets. I mean, we're still trying to have some conditioning here as well. This is not, you know, solely strength training. Uh, if you find yourself, you're in there an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half, man, you're taking way too long for that kind of workout. You should be in and out the door no, no longer than 45 minutes. I don't want you in there longer than that. 30 minutes would be ideal. Okay, so work quick, you know, set the stuff up. When you get in there, set the stuff up. Know, know exactly what you're going to do. Go in there and get the stuff accomplished and get out the door and then start to recover. All right, so you guys are going to have to, uh, as far as a nutrition standpoint, I want you guys watching your weight, you know, several times a week. Make sure you're not losing weight because if you're, lo you're already, you know, performing a lot of activities, you're burning a ton of calories 
you know, during the week with you know, the activities you're doing on the field. All right, and now you're introducing yourself to some more exercise. So, you know, you got a chance to start to lose some weight. We don't want to lose weight. All right, so if you find yourself losing weight during the week, you need to add more calories in. Add them before bed if you want to got if you guys want to get into a, you know, weight gainer shakes and things like that, you know, that's fine, you know, but what you can do is you can just add another meal right before you go to bed. Um so rest-wise, you know, you guys have got to get those seven minimum seven more like eight, nine plus hours of sleep per night. And you got to be consistent with that. You know, you can't have a couple of nights a week where you're going to bed at two in the morning and you're getting up at six. I mean, four hours of sleep, man, you're not going to, you're not going to allow your body to recover enough. You know, your body doesn't, doesn't get enough sleep. It doesn't get into that deep sleep where you're going to, you know, be recovering. And that's where you're going to, you're going to make your jumps. Okay. You don't work, you don't get stronger. You know, your muscles and stuff don't get bigger while you're in the gym, they get bigger while you're sleeping, okay? So your body is repairing itself at that time. So that's why you have to feed it a lot of nutrition and then you have to give it ample time to rest in order to recover because you're putting a lot of demands on your body. So you gotta take care of your body, okay? Obviously, I, I didn't really touch on flexibility, but you guys have got to maintain flexibility. You know, especially you guys, man, we're sitting a lot. You gotta make sure, you know, your abs are strong and your your hamstrings and your glutes and your low back and stuff are flexible. You know, that's where you wanna be the most flexible. Cer certainly the upper body, you know, there's a lot of ways to, to stretch. So you guys look that stuff up, man, but you gotta, uh, you got to maintain flexibility. So, I want to just touch base and answer that question. I mean, I know I went in kind of, kind of, kind of some different directions, but you know, there's a lot of ways to maintain strength during the season, and it, it's to me, it's just as important as the off season is to maintain strength during the season. So, hope that helps you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time.